I came from the Midwest. Josh grew up in the Bronx, but he spent some time in Buffalo, which is sort of Midwestish. Pseudo slang was formed out of Buffalo. You know, being being a Chicago artist, having been here, you know, I don't know. We've been doing shit here for like seven or eight years, uh, and Form has been doing shit for longer than that here. You know, I would love to identify myself as a Chicago artist. A bust it out, y'all. A bust it out, y'all. A bust it out, y'all. Come on, we bust it out like this and like that. Shot Town, why don't you tell me where you at? We bust it out like this and like that. To me, the pace is uh, is chiller, you know, and I prefer to be here in a chill. It's the Midwest, man. Yeah, in a chill way and not be in the rat race that I grew up in in New York. Taking nothing from New York because I love it, but. This is where I want to live now, and and it also is really conducive to making music, you know, in the sense that I feel really relaxed, and also I feel like we're amidst a whole bunch of artists who who are dope. Yeah. When P.S. get to the Alabon, we don't sweat where we get dollar song. 1888, get wrecked. Operators waiting to take orders for the plates. We poured it all in. Calling all bars, calling all far and near. To see where we could get the guard to hear. All we've been crafting, that's where Nepali has rock crazy. Ever since I never been lazy. Don't take nothing for granted. Those front and they get reprimanded. We put in too much work to deal with privileged jerks. You wanna talk and talk? Sicky, he walked the walk. Say what you want about a dude, we ain't about to lose. It could go 15 rounds, we down a trilogy like Water Gotti. I ish on a cat like Porta Potty. Come on. <laughs> Come on, yeah. I mean, you had the old cats like E.C. Ella and like, you know, there was a lot of, there was guys doing stuff, you know, you had Twister, but that's like a whole different game, you know, like. It's almost a whole different genre. It's a whole different genre, exactly, but I mean. But then the genres were similar, but the interesting thing is that Common surely introduced Chicago to the world. Because even though Buffalo is like mad far west, it's still within New York State, and of course, like the scene that we did there was mainly influenced by by New York shit. So once Common Resurrection dropped, that was that was like my that's my favorite album of all time is Common Resurrection and you know It's classic man. I mean like start to finish. And there's that not, was, there's not like a wasted moment on that record. I mean and everyone, you know, in Chicago that's like that's pretty much like gospel. Like everyone goes without saying, you know. And and now and actually now it's different though. I, I you know it was gospel, but I think now like, you know, I'm 37. You know, a lot of younger artists they don't. I don't know if they know that that's gospel, but Chicago knows. Like meaning, like when those songs get played, you know, people, people go are like, bonkers, yeah. Man. If you you drop you drop any any track off of Resurrection, man, like. Whether it's maintaining orange pineapple juice, like you know, used to love her, resurrect, like anything, like you drop that like on a Saturday night, three a.m. in Chicago, everyone goes crazy, yeah, they go nuts, hands in the air, like ah, oh, because it's like some people can identify with, and like for a long time, Chicago cats didn't, you know, besides house music and stuff, like. They didn't, have cats. An anthem. they didn't have an anthem. They didn't they have something anthem. to really like grasp onto. And not only did they, they did have, they did, but it was like really, ins it was more insular. I think you know, like I wasn't around during those days, but it seems like you know, like that was like one of the first records that really like transcended and broken in New York, broken in the West Coast. Back in video LP, raps I make up like blacks do excuses. I feel like Noah, hook at my mellows up on deuces. If a bar ain't got a mind, a job with cribs are useless. Acoustic bass lines and bass rhymes while I chase mines. They say signs of the end is near. I'm a dick and I walk a right, just bath a bit of fear. All Natural was like a big influence on the scene that we had going in Buffalo and and so was um, Akbar, sure. uh, Moment, Rubber Room, all, a lot of those yeah. We guys had Rubber were, Room singles playing. We had you know. I mean, I mean, even going back before that, yeah. I mean, even cats, even cats in Buffalo had DJ Third Rail mixtapes. Uh, also, I mean, 
you know, not to mention you go to New York. I mean, you know, that was what was playing too. I mean, all natural records were getting straight burn in New York. So, it so was bootlegs, mad bootleg vinyl, mad bootlegs, like, white white labels all over the place. And I mean, so so Chicago got firmly introduced to the world, you know, to the hip hop world at least. I spit on cats, they think they fat. I come with tracks like Burt Bacharach, all of that. Flip the formats, different type of syntax. Sick, all in form, yeah, we all that. Contact. Eight bars, haiku. We're in the center of the country, you know what I mean? So geographically, it's cool. We could go to the East Coast, we could go to the West Coast. It's pretty much equidistant. For the past decade almost, we spent like half the year, almost of every year touring. You know, so a ton of time on the road and, and you know, and always returning back to Chicago. Yo, Dima, man, you know the drill. We show the Leipzig and see the fam. You hold the pill, throw assist, although the knee's funny. You know I got this, whatever you need from me. This music industry can make you see money. Trees, don't be a dummy. You make no money, please. Lest you catch the right break until then, I'm just chilling. Manging on some rice cakes from Empire State to Deutschland. Guru said it was the voice, man. Me, I believe it's the vibe hanging with Choice Fam. All the stories that we have are like, just they're different. funny, but they're like, at the time, they yeah, were terrifying. They were funny, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we go to like Moscow, I Idaho, oh, no. and like don't utter, don't crazy utter people like try to like, like, pull out like chains and bats on us in like weird <laughs> coffee shops in the, in the middle of the day and like no one seems to care. I think it's important to be transparent about what it is that you do and also how difficult it is. If what you're doing is difficult, don't tell people it's easy, you know, just be honest about what you're doing and what we're doing. Pimping ain't easy, man. <laughs> what, what, what we're doing creates difficulty in life. felt the need to be polarizing it's even true. to this day so I think that what we're doing is since we just happened to have been raised well, Jewish, that's just, not like practicing that's not they're trying to be polarizing it's just half the world hates Jews so they are polarizing because no. they're Jewish I think that's I think that's, <laughs> a, I think that's a myth that half the world well actually maybe you're right but anyway, <laughs> but anyway we may have been raised Jewish but we weren't we don't identify ourselves as such. <laughs> but if we were to identify ourselves as being like Jew hip hop dudes, we would That'd probably we would probably be the least polarizing. <laughs> which is odd. which is yeah, they'd be like, like, oh, like, those guys. It's like it's like, yeah. oh, what's what's your claim to fame? Like least polarizing happen to be Jewish hip hop cats. Would you like a traditional Jewish holiday treat? Of course, sure. Yeah? I knew you would. Shit. This is for Purim, which is a Jewish holiday. Okay. Is which, it now? Yeah, it was just a couple days ago. Here, try it. See how it tastes. Okay. All right. It's called a Hamantashi. Okay. It's some old evil guy's hat. Oh, okay, okay. This is like a guy who tried to kill a bunch of Jews. Really? They, like, no. They designed a cookie after the, the way his hat looked. Really? And then they eat the hat. Oh, all right. That's how, yeah, serious, man. That's like, cool. that's pretty much what my understanding is. <laughs> <laughs>